Peace, family. My name is Vicki Dillon, and so pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure that as you come in, you give us a big thumbs up and share the broadcast. Thank you so very much, family. Now, I want you to prepare yourself to take a look at this resurfaced uh, video. Uh, the video itself was done some years ago um, when uh, Pierce Morgan was on CNN. But the clip that Pierce gets ready to play is what appears to be an actual private conversation that was recorded between Michael Jackson and one of his longtime business uh, managers. In this clip, you will see that he had some plans and I want you to listen to it. Take a look. As manager for Michael for a very long time. Uh, you've brought some fascinating tapes. These are audio tapes. And I want to just go through some of this because uh, I once interviewed Michael in the late 90s and I was struck that there was another Michael Jackson here, the businessman. And I want to play uh, a tape before I come to you. This is him discussing with you, I think, uh, about a plan to buy Marvel, the comic business, back in 2001 or two, I think it was. Let's listen to this. We could easily go into Universal and buy it. We would own Jaws, E.T., Close Encounters, you know, all the classics from a, from, from a Universal. Own all of that stuff. And that would allow us to do a Universal, I mean, a channel. Part of the Marvel channel can be not only the Marvel characters, but Marvel films like the catalog. We could do anything we want from restaurants to, to retail, theme parks. Now, you actually got the financing in place, I believe, for this deal. Then came the, the scandal, court cases, and it all got put on the back burner. Disney ended up buying Marvel and doing exactly what Michael had predicted and making a fortune at it. Tell me about this. That was the second part of his life. He did want to do this, and he knew exactly any single detail what he wants mm -hmm. to do. And he was absolutely right. Because he was saying, so, the music career, I cannot do more... Well, then that's what I did. That, that's it. Uh, and I have the Beatles catalog on one side. If I buy this Marvel catalog, he has a second part, a big part in his life. He would be the richest person in the yeah, world. Yeah, he understood the, the power of owning rights to things. Right. You know, he realized the power of publishing rights. Which Okay, family, did you catch that? Now... If you are familiar at all with uh, Bill Cosby, you all know that Bill Cosby was prepared uh, and was getting funding together uh, which, uh, 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 to purchase NBC. Uh, you all know that he was responsible for single-handedly reviving them for multiple bankruptcies. I did an amazing exclusive interview um, with his um, PR manager, Mr. Andrew Wyatt, some months ago, sometime last year. Family, this is very interesting because you even hear Pierce Morgan act like he's shocked because he was talking about Michael Jackson, the businessman. Well, of course, our brothers and sisters who are magic makers and who ship shape the world are good at business and monetizing things. And it stirred speculation since the um, resurfacing of this interview as to whether or not these allegations, uh, folks find it suspicious, let's say it like that, that this is what was taking place before the allegations. Talk black to me, somebody. We know that other parts of Michael Jackson's catalog and work, his blood, sweat, and tears was also stolen. And the people are saying, hey, if we want to know what's up, maybe we should take a uh, peek at following the money. Now, some folks are saying, well, Michael Jackson should have hushed on this. Well, first of all, that, it appears to be, as is mentioned in this interview, that that was an actual private conversation that Michael Jackson was having with his business manager. And you all know that if you're behind the scenes working to uh, buy large networks, conglomerates and companies, don't you all know that the powers that shouldn't be? will turn around and take what you're doing behind the scenes and make it a public situation in order to sabotage what you're doing? We could easily go into Universal and buy We would own Jaws, E.T., Close Encounters, you know, all the classics from, a, from, from a Universal, own all of that stuff. And that would allow us to do a Universal, I mean, a channel. Part of the Marvel channel can be not only the Marvel characters, but Marvel films like 
catalogs. We could do anything we want from restaurants to, to retail, theme parks. But this is still important for us to hear and for us to know so that we can continue to look into these things and hold the appropriate folks accountable if it leads to such things. But also for us to be reminded, family, that business is warfare. It's not easy, but we are entitled to it as a divine sovereign people. Somebody black talk black to me. My name is Vicki Diller. Be sure to check out my website with my yummy products and services and upcoming uh, special webinars at VickiPlanet.com. That's VickiPlanet.com. The link should be below. I can't wait to see you again.